was um so I was checking out the Facebook thing and one time had a question about the student and the child and basically special ed. Um the one thing that I wanted to say is that it is so important for you guys as parents of someone not only who has golden hair, but someone who has a special ability, I like to say ability as opposed to disability, that they get the services that they need. Like I said before, I was really lucky with the fact that I had a mom who taught special education for over 30 plus years. That's right, 30 plus years. No matter what school or what school district I went to, she fought long and hard for me to have the same wins and learning experiences as the other students in the class. Just because I look different doesn't necessarily mean that I need the services. So, if you have a child who has golden hair, Down syndrome, or um, we've been we've been able to reach them, or able to do, or any other type of different ability. Don't let the schools rule their education for your child. But you need to speak up for your child. And also, let them, your child or children, learn to express themselves in a way that they know how and that they feel comfortable in doing. Um, different experiences in my life mm, kind of made me shut down, but I know for most children, they like to express themselves. So don't let the school, you know, say respect for the child. You as a parent know what's wrong. And if you have cancer contact with the medical profession, and um, I know when I was growing up, I had your consultation to look at it, yeah, yeah, like that, yep, on the left side, it looks different, look at, I had a tab and all that. So, the hearing specialist, um, your nose and throat, um, what else was that? Dental, orthodontist, um, all kinds of different medical professions will come in and evaluate me and then sit down as a team and decide, you know, what services would benefit me. But in the end, I feel like my mom and my dad, when he was alive, were able to say no. Just because my child looks different doesn't necessarily mean that she needs to be in special ed the whole day. And up until now, seventh grade, I did have special ed. I'm not ashamed to say it because honestly, that helped me get through. And and you know, the college, my bachelor level, and then my master level. So just, you know, speak up for your kids. And, if, you know, I'm a social worker, so 
as little as plants and any help or phone numbers or any type of resources, just let me know. Um, I will be happy to do some research and provide you with the phone numbers and um, different contacts out in your area because many people don't know what's out there. And that's what is so great about this group, Golden Heart Syndrome and Golden Heart Syndrome for Adult Females, is that we have this platform to discuss different topics. So that's just kind of what caught my eye today um, in the Golden Heart Syndrome Facebook group. So, you know, leave a comment, post, share, and if I can help in any way, don't be afraid to ask. I will probably get back with you within probably the next 24 hours or so. Thanks. Have a great night. And by the way, let your kids do kids. And don't let anybody turn them because, you know, we learn our diagnosis, but our diagnosis and the people around us help make us who we are. And, you know, I think that golden children are pretty special and we have a unique personality all around. Oh, and don't forget to tune in to two in the morning and two hours to which will feature which will feature two people who are diagnosed with golden heart and I'm proud to say that I believe they are both on somewhat different spectrums of golden heart. So don't forget to tune in to two hours to two in the morning on Wednesday, and we will, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.